come out and play. Woo! What's going on, everybody? You know the hell this is, baby. It's a long time. Back at you again. What's going on? And it's finally here. The start of the college football season is finally here, people. All this long, long offseason that we've been putting up with is finally over with. Now it's time. It's time to get back to doing what Alabama does. And that's dominate for four quarters. And it starts down there in Dallas, Texas, baby. Jerry World. Woo! Seven o'clock, Bama time. Can't wait for it. Now you've got these damn Wisconsin Badgers from the Big Ten. Got a damn quarterback with 10 touchdown passes and 11 interceptions, 11 NITs. And they won their division last year. And so that shows you how weak that division is up there in the Big Ten Conference. They're the lambs getting led to slaughter when it comes to the Big Ten Championship. Now, you want to come up there and you want to run your daggone mouths about the University of Alabama, about our hardship because we've lost a few games, maybe a handful of games in the last seven years, and y'all want to think Alabama's done, y'all got another damn thing coming, boys, because it's what we do at the University of Alabama, and it's all about the process. All about the process. It's been about the process since Coach Saban's been at the University of Alabama. So all you naysayers, yeah, I said it, baby, naysayers want to get up here and talk about Alabama being on a downslide. You better go look your own team in the face in the mirror one time and ask them, when are they going to step up? When are they going to be a top-notch program like the University of Alabama, like Wisconsin? And I've, had, and I've already said it. I've already said it in my last video. They're, they're the Daniel Bryans of the college football world. They're B-plus players. You got a little old running back back there. That's the clutch right there of Clement. He thinks he's stuck, but he's fixing to run up against the best defensive line in the country, boys, for four quarters, and we can't wait for it. You got Sean Robinson on the line. You sitting over there, and you got Denzel Duvall out there back from injury. You got Reggie Ragland and Reuben Foster going to make human bobblehead dolls out of you chumps. And I can't wait to see it, baby. You know, people are always talking about Alabama. You know why? Because they want to be Alabama. They want to be talked about in the media. They want to have a team like Alabama out there on the field that destroys teams for four fucking quarters. And that's what we're going to do Saturday night, baby, when the football world is watching the University of Alabama, not you, Wisconsin. They could care less. All you're going to have is a few little homers, a few little Big Ten homing pussies on your damn little woo side, boys. But they're not going to be able to help you. They're not going to be able to help you when the kickoff comes, baby. So all I got to say about it is this. Me to set the 50 bucket and paint it up, raccoon. Because Big Al and this Alabama football team is going to beat your ass. So with that being said, there's only one thing for me to say from down here. And that's Roll Tide Roll. One time up in this bitch, baby. Woo! We're going to put it on you one time, baby. Step up and get some, Wisconsin. You ain't ready for this train. Peace, everybody. One love. Sitting around like fools, popping brawls and playing cards.